what's up guys, I just want to reevaluate on a few things from Worlds and my plans moving forward. Um, really disappointed with my squats at the Worlds, I only got 270 kgs at my opening attempt. Um, so I've come back, I'm working harder on making things a lot more comp specific. Um, I'm really going to hammer, hammer down on myself and um, get the squat moving where it needs to be and where it was looking like it was going to be last year. Um, so this is me just doing my first um, heaviest triple I guess since I've been back with only 240 kgs. Now one major change you're going to notice is that I'm using flat shoes. So I've really gone away from the heels. They were, they were really actually affecting my squat positioning and my uh, legs were getting really, really sore. Um, and it's took, it took me a while to sort of come around to, to get into the flats, but I mean, after the first session or so, I was pretty much convinced. Um, the only time I'm going to be using the heeled shoe is pretty much on the high bar squat and the front squat as well just for that increased um, mobility um, my mobility itself has been, has come a long way i can now even do um, full depth overhead squats which has been a goal of mine for a long time so i'll keep you guys updated on how these uh, squats are going so the bench press of world champs didn't go too bad i successfully lifted 202.5 kgs which was my second attempt um, I did, however, go for 205.5 for a world record. Um, however, was unsuccessful due to putting it back into the rack early and potentially lifting my butt off the bench. So um, either way, it's still 7.5 kgs off my best gym lift, which is 210 kgs. Now, there's a few factors that come into play here that I'm trying to minimise um, and really get it so I'm actually getting bigger numbers come competition time. Now, one of those factors, that bench I'm sitting on right now, that's higher than your normal Alico setup, which obviously affects my arch, my leg drive, and overall the weight being moved on the bar. Now, the other bench I have available in the gym, they are lower again, so that makes things even harder. Um, so what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just trying to make sure I'm doing everything the same on the bench, the way I approach the bar, where I'm gripping the bar, the pauses, I'm making them slightly longer and not rushing them at all. Okay, so that's got really going to help when it comes to competition day. Um, I'm using this slingshot every now and then. As you can see, these are a little bit rushed, not quite locking them out. This was straight after my competition, so this wasn't while I'm on my new program, which is me and my new coach, we're really going to address this, is basically just m making things cleaner, a lot smoother, and not rushing any of these lifts. Um, as you can see here, that was a PB. That was 217.5 kgs. Um, so really happy with that. Um, and as of right now, I'm actually working on a bench press tutorial for you guys. Um, I haven't been putting as much content out as I um, really want to lately. That's because I really want that content to be of the best quality. And sometimes when you don't have anyone to record the lifts to, to this quality you're seeing right now, it makes things a lot harder. So just be, um, be aware there's some big, big things coming out, but I want to make it to the best of my ability moving forward. So here was my second attempt deadlift of 302.5 kgs. Now actually deadlifts felt great on this day, um, it was just a little bit unfortunate that I had to go for 316.5 kgs to, to take the win. Now a lot of you are probably thinking, you know, well Brett you pulled 320 kgs in the gym. Um, well there's a lot of factors that come into play when you're um, going into train the deadlift in the gym. Now on that, on that particular day where I did pull that 320 kgs or 705 pounds, basically what was going on is there was a pretty pretty standard gym bar. You've got thicker rubber, thicker, thicker rubber plates, um, so it gives the bar a lot more whip than, than usual, um, which in turn, for some lifters, allows you to lift a bit more. And in this case, um, that did allow me to lift a bit more, and basically that's why 320 kgs went up that day, whereas if I was on a nice Alico bar, um, with thin metal plates, Alico plates like used in competition, it may have been a little bit different on that day. Um, and I would have done uh, no squats and no bench press before that as well. Um, so as you can see there, I've just gone through a couple of scenes of deadlifts there. So um, what I'm doing right now is I'm doing uh, an easy deadlift and then two days later I'm doing my heavier session. Um, and it's all competition style. So I'm locking it out fully, standing at the top for a second or two and going back down, all with belt on. And I'm finishing these days um, with some stiff legged deadlifts here, as you can see. Just trying to maintain my form. 
Um, and that's really it for today, guys. I want to um, bring out some good content, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.